you know, the, the amazing thing about Central, it, 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 the memories don't go back to when I was there as much as since because the spirit of that place seems to live on forever. I mean, they have a, you know, there'll be something after this, I'm sure, that when people are 100 years old, they'll still be having reunions about Central High School. But the spirit among the alumni and the love they have for that high school and their, and their classmates is, uh, is remarkable. It's very unique, I think. I was a, lived across the street from the school all my, most of my life, and so I used to go to the school when I was uh, in the second and third grades. I'd go to the elementary school in the morning and then come by in the afternoon. The athletes would take me to class with them at Central High. So I, I, uh, I went to Central High for a, a long time in that respect. Central High School was a, a fantastic place to be at that time. Uh, it was a large, large student body, approximately 1,800 students, a uh, big graduating class. Uh, we were only one of five high schools in Charlotte-Mecklenburg at the time. You know, I would, I would say that uh, my, my fondest memory of all of that building, attending Central High School, was the fact that Charlotte College was in the basement of the building and Bonnie Cohn had a little cubby hole of an office there and took me by the hand and led me into that cubby hole and enrolled me in classes when I didn't think I'd ever set foot in a college classroom. So the Central High School Charlotte College things to me is like a connector. I mean it was the, they're the same to me almost. But I was there from the fall of 1947 until the spring of 1950 as a, uh, senior, as a student and loved it. I loved the uh, mix of students. Central High was then the uh, uh, about 1,500 students, uh, the largest high school in Charlotte and uh, the, one of the preeminent high schools in North Carolina. Our primary rivalries were, of course, with Harden and Tech, and we played them every year in, in, in all sports, football being the biggest. And uh, big attendance. We had uh, for the Harden game on uh, my senior year uh, on Thanksgiving Day, we had about 15,000 people show up for a high school football game. Uh, lots of rivalries, but uh, lots of friendships developed, too, because the city was relatively small, less than 100,000 people, I think, at that time. So it was a great time to, to be in high school in Charlotte. Academically, it stood right up there at the top of the list um, with R.J. Reynolds of Winston-Salem and Broughton High School in Raleigh and uh, Greensboro Senior High School in Greensboro. We, those were the principal college preparatory high schools in North Carolina. It was. Uh, challenging academically. Uh, we had good teachers, uh, very focused. Uh, teachers stayed a long time. I mean, you, there was always obviously some turnover, attrition through retirement or moving married, marriage, that type thing. But I would say probably 90% of, of the teachers that I started with when I entered Central High School were there when I graduated, maybe more. So. There was a lot of continuity. Uh, you got to know them well. They got to know you well, which was not always good, uh, but most of the time it was. So it was a, it was a great time to be a, be a high school student. Saw the uh, evolution of Charlotte College. Charlotte College was formally created as Charlotte College in 1949, in my, my senior year there. Charlotte College means everything to me. I mean, it, because it was uh, not only my uh, a chance to meet Bonnie Cohn, who was one of the most important people in my life, but uh, also to, uh, uh, to to go to college. I mean, there were a lot of people like me, a lot of people like me that would never have gone to college had it not been for Bonnie Cohn, had it not been for Charlotte College as a way to get in uh, and get started and her determination. So that uh, it means everything to me and the fact to have it uh, in the same building that I went to high school and just adds to it and coming out here today you know Mary Alexander Boulevard she was my English teacher 
and uh, at Charlotte College. So, I mean, all of that stuff uh, just comes together for me. I was working full time at uh, WBTV uh, at the time and going to school at night. Dr. Bonnie Cohn was uh, running things down there, and I mean, she was running them too. So uh, that was that was a great experience too, to be able to uh, do what I, you know, be able to develop my professional life as well as finishing school at Charlotte College. When Central High was no longer used as a high school in 1959 and Central Piedmont Community College took it over, they put false fronts over some of that facade of that building and lost some of that rich detail that we had grown up with and in Charlotte. Recently, the alumni of Central High asked Central Piedmont if they would take those things down and restore the building because they wanted to restore the name Central High. The building is still standing. And so Central Piedmont Community College did and asked if we in exchange would generate contributions from Central High alumni to create scholarships at Central Piedmont Community College. Well, we did, and we have given, oh, roughly $400,000 towards uh, those scholarships, and they have uh, removed the false fronts and then restored the facade, and we're going to rededicate the facade of Central High School on Sunday, September the 30th, from one to four in the afternoon, and in doing so, have an all-class reunion. All the people who have ever gone to Central High, from 1922 to 1959, are invited to come back to the high school, see the new facade and participate with us in the rededication of it and to enjoy these uh, tales of great successes of Central High students. The fact that they're having the reunion, the fact that they've got this legacy for Central High School uh, pretty much speaks to, to, to how people feel about the high school. And I think it's great that they are, they're going to have a building that will be associated forever with Central High School that will live on and on that, down there on the, camp, uh, the campus of Central Piedmont Community College where, you know, that was Central High School at the time. And the fact that they'll have that building uh, that will keep the Central name alive is a great thing. We have the all-class reunion, which will be our second uh, on Sunday, September 30th. Uh, it'll be at, right across the street at the Overcash, in front of the Overcash building, right across from Central High School. Uh, it'll be from 1 to 4. We're going to have a barbecue dinner and uh, rededication of the building and tour of the building. Um, also gives us an opportunity to raise some additional funds for the Central High School Legacy Fund. So far, we've had 997 former uh, uh, graduates of Central uh, alumni, not all graduates, some went to school elsewhere afterwards, but, uh, and we've contributed, uh, I think the total now is like $375,000. So we have a goal of getting to $500,000, which will allow Central Piedmont Community College, which is also founded in the same building as UNC Charlotte, uh, will allow, give 10 full scholarships to Central Piedmont Community College. So. We're very excited about uh, that, that part of the legacy. And I think you know, it's kind of a three-part uh, reunion. And number one is to celebrate, of course, the restoration of the building, which uh, President Tony Zeiss and their architects and contractors done a fantastic job in restoring. So we're very excited about that. We're very excited about the opportunity to get together with alumni from 1922 to 1959. Uh, going all the way, I think most recent graduate were people like uh, Patsy Kinsey, currently Charlotte City Councilwoman. Uh, so we're, we're 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 excited about that opportunity, and but most most excited about the chance to uh, leave this legacy, and hopefully a large enough uh, foundation a gift to to educate a lot of a lot of future graduates. It was a good time, as I say, a wonderful time to be a high school student and lots of wonderful relationships developed which continue to this day happily. Mm -hmm.